Hi, uh, welcome to the Hibernate class. Today we are going to see how to install like Hibernate and set it up along with Eclipse. So first off, I would like to say uh, if you don't have JDK, I would recommend that you download the Sun JDK uh, or Oracle JDK and install it. And after installing the JDK, I would suggest you install Eclipse because I'm going to use Eclipse um, for this class. You can find Eclipse at eclipse.org and you just download the zip file and you have to unzip it. So you will find something like this in eclipse.org and then you can go to the downloads and after clicking downloads you can click on this uh, Eclipse ID for Java EE and then download it and unzip the folder. Next off, for the database, we are going to use the DB Derby database uh, from Apache. You can just go and do a Google search and you can download uh, from this website. From this website, like dbapache.org, you can just do a Google search for DB Derby and then go to this website and do the download. You can get the latest download. Uh, whatever it is and it is a zip file and you will have to do the unzipping to some folder in your C drive and after that go to hibernate.org and you may have to like you know do a search over there wherever the downloads are basically this is the website and where you can download hibernate and in hibernate.org you need to download two zip files that is hibernate distributions and hibernate annotations the site would look like this it is in sourceforge.net and uh, even though they have released 3.5 i'm going to use 3.3.2 and you'll have to go here and download this hibernate distribution dot zip file and after which you can download the hibernate annotations 3.4.0 GA dot zip file and once you have downloaded all those zip files I would suggest put them like in um, a particular folder uh, for this lesson I have created a folder in the C drive called hibernate lessons and under hibernate, hibernate lessons I have two folders one is code it's uh, empty this is going to be my workspace where I'm going to uh, do all my hibernate programming and in the downloads I have downloaded all the zip files and stuff like that this is the JDK which I installed in my mission and this is the Eclipse uh, I'm using the latest version Galileo and uh, the DB Derby zip file and annotations and distribution zip files once you download all these zip files uh, unzip them to the same folder if you want and once you have unzipped them you don't have to do anything else other than unzipping them and uh, you can go and start Eclipse to go start Eclipse go to this Eclipse folder and once you're in this Eclipse folder you can double click on this Eclipse.exe to start Eclipse so now let us open the workspace I'm going to open the workspace it's in my C drive and I have it in my hibernate lessons and in that I will select code this is going to be my workspace in Eclipse we have opened Eclipse let's close the screen and we are in Eclipse now let us create a project you can create a project by clicking on file new and then you can say other and then here you can select a Java project click next and then you can give some project name say hibernate example hibernate example and click finish after creating this hibernate example project 
let's see what is our next step now we have downloaded and installed Eclipse and we have created a project the next step is let us install the database so let's go back to our downloads folder and in that we had unzipped this DB Derby so that means we have installed the database to start the database go to the bin folder in DB Derby and inside the bin folder double click on the start network server dot bat it should say started and ready to accept connections on port 1527 that means the database is up and running good now the next step is we now need to make a connection between Eclipse and the database we need to make a connection between Eclipse and database so how to do the configuration go back to Java EE Eclipse and over here click on Windows and click on open perspective and click on other and in this select database development and click OK now once you click on OK you will get a screen like this and over here in database connection right click on the database connection click new and select the database that we are going to use since we are using Derby, we will select Derby. If you are using HSQL or MySQL or Oracle, you need to select that particular database. But for our example, since we are using Derby, let us select Derby. And here we can give a name like say Hibernate Connection. Hibernate Connection. Now click Next. And over here, you will see the screen you need to specify the driver details to specify the driver details you have something called as a new driver definition right here at this corner click that button and in this let us select a derby client JDBC driver this is the driver details for this particular database now let us go to the jar list tab you will see some error saying unable to locate jar zip file like basically it's not able to see where this derby client jar file is so what we will do is let us go and add that particular jar click on add jar zip and let us go in search of that particular jar file to go in search of the jar file let us go back to our downloads folder that is hibernate lessons downloads db derby and over here go to this lib directory and you will see that derby client jar so select that and click open now since we have added the derby client jar from the downloads db derby we no longer need this one so just click this derby client jar here and remove it now after doing that go to the properties tab and in the properties tab let us copy these connection URL and driver class name so just select them control C open a notepad and this is our connection URL let's copy that and our driver class let us copy this we will be using this later in a configuration file and this is our driver class name so let us copy it and then like minimize that particular notepad now click OK and over here let us give a name for the database like say hibernate DB hibernate DB and let the username be user and port numbers 1527 and the password let us give a password like say password password is password now you can say save password if you want to and click on test connection to see if everything is working when you click on test connection it should say ping succeeded make sure if this does not work that your database is up and running properly 
that is it should say like connection on port 1527 and make sure it is minimized not closed click OK now that we change the name of the database you can see that the connection URL the uh, sample has been changed to hibernate DB so let us copy the new connection URL and let us paste our connection URL new connection URL and minimize it now click finish so that's it we have now created the configuration we have now like configured Eclipse with the database and we have a database tool called hibernate DB so this hibernate DB will have like some default schemas and stuff like that we need not worry about that Okay.